In this video, we're gonna break down the Airbnb data engineer interview process and interview questions. The TLDR for Airbnb is pretty simple. Rigorous loops, team specific rounds, but fairly standardized loops, and a high emphasis on culture fit slash behavioral rounds. So when I say rigorous, I mean, they tend to have more rounds throughout their loops. They sometimes add these at the end, so you don't know upfront how long it's going to be. Sometimes this can be frustrating, but for Airbnb, they're super focused on not having a bad hire. So ultimately, it's actually quite good for the culture that they put in this extra rigor. Though each round is going to be specific to each team, most rounds are similar across teams, which is nice because it's more predictable, but at the same time, you're actually interviewing with the team that you would be working with if you get the job. When it comes to their culture fit, they have a more of an Amazon style culture fit screen rather than a Microsoft culture fit screen, which we'll get into a little bit later. So Airbnb, their mission, which is important to know, is to create a world where anyone feels at home anywhere. So Airbnb is going to have a data engineering function that isn't distinctly designated as a role. So basically data engineers are referred to as software engineers. This has some trade-offs that you should be aware of. Number one, the advantage is that it gives you a broader recognition of your unique skill set and more flexibility for the future work you would do. The trade-off is that it's a slight reduction in recognition of your specialization. Functionally, how this works is that different teams like these are actually going to have data engineers that work on their business scope. But for the most part, regardless of the team you're working on, you can basically think about it like more senior data engineers are going to be working with more real-time data pipelines and less senior data engineers are going to be working on more batch pipelines. So they're going to test you in the same way, depending on your seniority in one of those two areas. How this affects the money is that the basic levels and their corresponding average compensation packages are going to be pretty much the same as software engineers. So this is each of the levels and each of the corresponding average uh, comp packages that you'll see at each level. The nice thing about Airbnb in terms of their packages are they have a standard vesting schedule. It's not front loaded, not back loaded, super typical, which is nice. Any company that works at a high scale, such as Airbnb, wants to hear about the high scale data engineering you've done but not everybody has done it at a high scale. So if you haven't done it at a high scale, focus instead on highlighting the scalability of your modular work, the collaboration that you did with a bunch of teams or large teams. And if you have cool projects that are relevant, even if you didn't get paid for them, those are great too. Another thing is that you wanna showcase complexity. If you don't have the scale, there's a lot of different ways to fo focus on complexity. One easy way is if a project had a large amount of dependencies, either internal or external. That's another way you could show it was complex, even if you didn't have an insane amount of data that you were working with on that project. Another tip, depending on how keen you are on Airbnb, is that you can interview with multiple teams simultaneously. So if you're really keen, stack the deck in your favor and interview with a bunch of teams. Or if you're maybe more proven as an interview candidate, maybe you've gotten an offer, or maybe you typically get offers quickly. Quickly would be you get them within one or two onsites of each job search then maybe you can optimize for less teams. So one unique thing about their interview process is their recruiters actually sometimes ask tactical questions, not necessarily just like, hey, what's your experience with X technology, but more even like, hey, tell me about how you optimize SQL queries or tell me how you would go over this basic data type or this beta, basic data structure in Python. Um, obviously expecting the recruiter screen for them to ask why Airbnb. And when we get into the culture fit stuff a little later, you wanna map that kind of signal to the recruiter. Tech screen. So for the tech screen, it's gonna be pretty typical 60 minute round on CoderPad or Hacker Rank or just even a regular text editor. The questions have gotten a little bit easier over the years for this tech screen. They used to be hard, now they're more medium hard. So in each of these rounds, expect them to provide definitions and test methods and expect them to have your final output for what they're looking for from you is compilable code. These five factors are what they are grading you on. One or more expected baselines within the code, relevant use of data structures, function control, et cetera, exception handling, best coding practices, and success with the test cases. They're not one of these companies that's super dogmatic about what language you use. Essentially, 
they use Python the most. So that would be cool if you use that, but don't worry about that. Just make sure you have a control over your programming language of choice and use that in the tech screen round. The hiring manager rounds, whether they take place at the onsite or before, are going to be fairly focused on behavioral fit. This is also true for their skip level rounds. So we'll talk about the culture fit now. So at Airbnb, culture fit rounds are going to be more of a deal breaker. They're going to reject more candidates for passing the technical rounds, but not making the culture fit rounds. So to pass the culture fit rounds, you want to study and understand the unique core values of Airbnb. Again, they're more of an Amazon than a Microsoft. Microsoft just wants to hire friendly enough people who can do the work. Amazon, like Airbnb, has decided on these specific traits, and then they measure you on these specific traits. These traits are pretty original, and this is how you know they're this type of company. No other company is going to have a value that says be a serial entrepreneur. So for example, what this means, at least to Airbnb, is to not approach your business ventures or the work that you do like a serial spelled the normal way entrepreneur who's just after the next biggest deal. They're not going to persevere through hard times. They want Someone who approaches their next business venture with a childlike sense of wonder. So I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to chase the mission and I'm not going to change course just because it's hard. In, in line with that is this kind of embrace the adventure mindset and champion the mission mindset. Again, coming back to creating a world where anyone can feel at home anywhere. They don't need you to be a host on Airbnb. They just need you to show this kind of attitude that you want to help solve this problem for them. So that is their unique culture fit. And that's going to be happening in a little bit of recruiter rounds, like but partially, definitely in hiring manager rounds and definitely in skip level rounds. System design. System design, you can call it data modeling. They might call it either one. This is a super key role. The more senior you get, the more this is going to be a challenging round. The basic idea is that more senior candidates need to show in these interviews that they can and have resolved issues for themselves in at least another three to four engineers. That's an unwritten rule of what they consider senior and above engineers able to do. So definitely expect them to deep dive into the specific stages of the pipeline you've primarily worked on. And there are some example questions that you can use to actually work through. But what I would like to emphasize that you do is try this five minute workout if you're preparing for an Airbnb round. A typical question that they will ask you is something that actually applies to their day to day work, a practical problem, which is nice for people like practical problems. Design a data engineering system for tracking and analyzing the like button interactions on Airbnb. Ask yourself in these five factors these questions. For data pipelines, how would you track interactions efficiently? For the back end, what are the key components needed to process and store the data? For storage, how would you handle storing large volumes of interaction data? Analytics, what data would you analyze to measure like button activity? And for scalability, how would you ensure that the system can handle growth? Again, this leadership round is pretty intense. It's got more of a culture fit focus. And that is something that they have over the years changed in terms of process for how they do these leadership rounds. It used to be the founders interview every single candidate, and now they rely on more senior leaders to interview every single candidate. Going back to these loops being rigorous, sometimes they can add more of these leadership rounds at the end, leaving candidates feeling like they got into a longer process than they originally imagined. That's not a bad sign if that happens to you. What that means is Airbnb is super focused on not hiring bad hires. So ultimately for the culture, it's one of the more pr protective processes that we've seen in tech. So if you can get past these gates, even if they keep moving, once you're in the door, it's a very cool culture. If you want to ace your Airbnb data engineering interviews, check out our data engineering interview prep course. We go over SQL, data modeling, behavior, and coding. Try it all for free at tryexponent.com.